we're headed back home now. We actually stopped at a lake called Paranagit. You guys know that there's been a carp radio here. A lot of carp in here, so we're gonna stop and get my cousin on some carp. Step one, get yourself a hook, put on some corn. Let's go cast it. Step two, cast your line. Now we just wait. All right, guys, we're out here, northern Paranagit, out here carp fishing. This is usually where they have the carp rodeo. Both sides have carp in them. This little strip is pretty good to fish off of. There's millions of carp here. During the last rodeo of four hours, I think they pulled out like 175 or something. Adrian won one year um, when he was a youth. Come out here, catch the carp. Do not release them because they are invasive. A lot of this water right here, it's a duck habitat. So they want to get out the carp because the carp makes up the water and muddy it all up and they just reproduce like crazy and they have no predators it's 110 degrees out here i've been out here like 10 minutes already sweating it's a good time come out here enjoy it bring the family a bunch of carp they're very good fight they're about seven eight pounds most of them oh 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 roman hooked up <laughs> this first carp nice Nice work. Let me see. Let me see. Now you gotta break the tip. Ah, my dang leg. Pull him out of the net. Pull him out. You scared or what? Yeah. You broke my line? Dang. Pick him up. Just grab him by his gill. What's up? Pick him up. <laughs> There's Roman's first carp. It's a nice little common. Nah, he's not gonna hurt you. Look, look. That little shit. They don't hurt you, they're not gonna bite. There's a nice little carp roaming. She gotta hold them for a picture. That's what we came out to catch right there. Little carp. Nice work. They don't want us to let these things go. So you're gonna go ahead and properly dispose of it. You had one? Juju just lost one. Your line snap? Dang, they're starting to bite. Alright, let's go get some lines out again, Roman. Juju just hooked up! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! He's screaming drag. Yeah. You okay, Ron? No, I'm fine. Dang, he's yeah. fighting, he's fighting. <laughs> Dang. Don't touch it. I'm trying. <laughs> That's nice. Sick. There's a nice fish. Go ahead, pick him up, Jude. Grab it, Just pull that one out, and then he's good. There you go. He's good. Hold him up. Hold him up. Okay, and you and Roman are gonna take a picture together. Any spina? No, no. Just put a finger in his gill. Nice. <laughs> Hold him up. Nice fish, you. Yes, yes. You guys, you're fighting him forever, right there. I know that dragon. Gonna... I have a pull. I don't know if it's the pull or. What. I thought you're gonna lose him for a second. <laughs> well, that's a nice one. Let's take a look at him. That carp is a. Uh, let's see, they don't got no teeth or nothing. That's what's weird about carp. They've just got little tiny soft mouths. They're like a little koi fish. Yeah. But that's a nice one. So once again, we're going to dispose of it. They do not want these back in the water. Although, you know, taking one or two out might not make a huge difference. This water, like Senior was explaining, is a bird sanctuary. They want them to breed out here. And this muddy water makes it harder for them to breed. And uh, these carp are just a big problem. So the state is actively trying to get rid of these. They're just so hard to get rid of though. So nice catch. So that's one less that the state's got to worry about. Let's go, baby. <sighs> and it's hot out here though. It's, it's really hot. We're out here sweating like crazy. But uh, that's two already. We're going to see if we can't maybe get like one more, maybe two more. And then we're going to call it a day because thank God for this cloud cover. When we first got out here, there was no cloud coverage. And it was just way too hot we we're about to leave already but that cloud cover came over and then uh, all these fish started biting and uh, they're starting to jump everywhere and splash everywhere too so um the bite's certainly picking up not these clouds are over and there's little fish jumping absolutely everywhere so um it's interesting we're gonna stay here a couple more minutes but as for catching these carp all we do is a carolina rig or kentucky rig will work either or works that's the beauty of it and uh, this is the secret right here this is what I like using, just whole kernel corn. Um, I'm not big into like fancy carp fishing and stuff. I just like to keep it really simple, throw on some whole kernel corn on a Carolina rig and cast her out there. And if you guys have never carp fished, I gotta tell you, carp are one of the easiest fish to catch in my opinion. Carp put up one of the best fights. 
out of any freshwater fish by far, I gotta say. Um, a little carp will put up an absolutely amazing fight. Um, just be a good time, especially if you're using light gear. These carp aren't very big, but uh, Juju just caught that on a little, uh, like a, a pole used for drop shots and stuff. So that thing put up an absolute heck of a fight for those spinning rods. And if you start getting into the really big ones, like at Lake Mead, we got 10, 15, 20 pound carp. Uh, those things, that doesn't matter what gear you use, they're gonna give you a run for your money. Both of Roman's poles are getting bit right now. See if he ends up hooking up on one. The bottom one's getting little nibbles and the top one. So I don't know if they're carp or not, but he's getting bit by something. I gotta grab his net. See, it's don't reel in so much. Don't reel in so close to the tip. You know, break the line. Don't break the tip. Let some line go. Pull it. There you go. Well, there you go. Dang, that's the smallest one I've ever seen caught out of this lake. <laughs> Just unhook them on that one hook and that one, and yeah. That thing would make like good sized bait for like a big flathead. Nice dude. How do I take it out? Just pull it out. Give it a good twist, like a twist pull. Get some stuff Flip them over. They got barbs on the hook, so you kind of just twist and push. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh! <laughs> God dang! We got another one! He literally was screaming the pole. One on him, folks. Oh yeah, that one's a nice one. Okay, just lift your pole up. Don't reel it so close to the tip. All right, yeah, let me just bring him towards me. Bring him in the Swing him in the neck. I got one hand here, so. Swing him in his neck. Oh, you missed yeah. the neck. Towards the net, towards the net. Use your rod tip. Your... Uh, 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 there we go. <laughs> Just caught two. Just like that. There's another one, still not even unhooked. Boom, baby. Now we got two. All right, y'all, this is what they look like. This is a little guy, little tiny carp. This guy would make perfect bait if there was a flathead spot somewhere around here where I could use him as live bait for flatheads, but there's the other one. We just got a double hook up after trying to, to get this one off the hook. So we're going to get that one off the hook really quick and look at him. So both those poles were getting nibbles like crazy and then look. Boom, double hook up. We've been out here probably 45 minutes to an hour. Some cloud coverage came over and they started biting. Nice work, man. You want a picture with both? Yeah. Yeah, so there's a little trout. Or a <laughs> trout. A little carp. There's that one, he's all dirty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so once again, we're just gonna dispose of these guys, but we're gonna call it a day now. It was hot out here, these cloud coverage came over and they started biting. We're just using corn. I'm gonna show you guys our setup real quick. And then uh, we're gonna head back to the truck. Okay, so since we didn't really intend to come out here and go after a carp, this is what we were using. We got our weight, a foot above, Kentucky rig, see some corn, and below it, we got a Carolina rig with uh, some more corn. So that's all. Extremely, extremely simple uh, setup. Literally, you can set up in 30 seconds, a minute, and uh, throw some corn on there. Yep, so we're gonna pack up right now, call it a day, and uh, see you guys at the truck. Gigi. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Oh, he's getting tall too. He needs to start working out. Man, it's hot out here right now. We're all sweating. Um, some cloud coverage came over, so the bite actually picked up. It, well, that was fun, I gotta say. Right at the end there, both of his poles were getting nibbles at the same time. One takes off, he reels it in. Next one takes off, reels it in. So it was cool. Juju caught one. Overall, good trip. We're just in Ely right now. Caught some trout, had a good time. Um, hung out in the hotel room, just had a good time in that old town. And just good trip overall. Roman's visiting. It's boils. just going to be fun. After some boils, leg meat boils. But Juju, you going to go? Yeah. He's going to go. He's going to have to show yep. off his six pack on the boat someday. No. <laughs> but, uh, Thank you guys for watching. Um, carp, really fun, like I said. Uh, carp fishing, they're one of the easier fish to target. Amazing fighting fish, really easy to catch. Just a good time overall, and uh, you can never really go wrong catching them. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys outdoors. See you guys outdoors.
No, see you outdoors. <laughs> see you outdoors. <laughs> <laughs>